Hello, my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombone is here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a, maybe a different way that you haven't thought of before to warm up. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> A lot of us, when we warm up, we start in first position, we go down to seventh position, just chromatically, right? We start a lot of us on the F. And we just go down chromatically to seventh position. Very standard, common way to warm up. We may start on our B flat in first. We may go that way. And for those of you that know me, know that I also recommend to start in seventh position and go all the way up to first chromatically, kind of the reverse way. Something I've been doing a lot lately that I wanted to share with you is starting in the middle. And this is something that actually somebody told me that JJ Johnson may have implemented. Starting in the middle of your horn. So instead of starting on first position, start in fourth. I guess fourth would probably be the middle of the horn. So fourth is a great place to start. You can start your long tones, you can start your lip slurs, and this is how I would work it. I would work it like this. I would go here like this. Then I would go up to third. And then I would go down to fifth. Then I would go up to second. Then I would go down to sixth. Then I would go up to first. And then I would end on seventh. You can do that for every exercise that is designated to one position. So you can even start all your lip slurs that way. And it's kind of working it from both angles. Like you're going out both angles, getting comfortable kind of a different way. It actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it to starting your warm up from the middle of the horn. You know, that's, that's the middle of the length of tubing. You know, I think it's nine feet of tubing is the trombone. If you were to take the trombone and you were to put the length all out on there, it would be about nine feet of tubing. So you're starting in the middle of that and you're working it this way. So here we could do some lip slurs that way. So I feel actually really quite warmed up really great that way. So it's something I've been doing a lot in my routine lately. It's just a different way. You can still go the normal way, starting in first, still go to the no way, starting in seventh. This is just another thing you can add, kind of vary it up, give you more comfortable approaching your horn from different angles. It feels good. It feels real good. I feel like really warmed up already. I mean, that's the first thing I played all day was just that and just that feels really good for me. So the other day on my Twitter, I asked, what is the greatest advice you ever learned? And I got some great responses from a lot of you. And I just wanted to share with everyone that maybe had not seen the thread. These are great. Do bad things and remember, do good things and forget about it. Keep the shower curtain on the inside of the tub. It's better to regret something you've done than it is to regret something you did not do. No particular gig is worth your sanity or self-respect. If you work hard and apply yourself, there will always be other bands' gigs. Never trade in those for anything. Be particular. Keep your head down and work. The black notes on the page are just guidelines. What you do with them now that's where the music begins. My band teacher taught us three things. Go when you can, not when you have to. Early is on time, on time is late. 
And practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Don't be angry when it's not working. Be happy when it works. Never be late. Excellence is not convenient. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to breathe. You need to breathe. Breathing is not for the weak. The essence of music and the soul of the musician lies between the notes. Breathe. Take the good with the bad and move on. You get what you give. Be a problem solver, not a problem reporter. Those are great. I just wanted to share with you because actually it kind of inspired me when I was reading all those. If you haven't and if trombone stuff interests you and you haven't already or aren't quite aware, I came out with a digital trombone method book called Trombone Exercises that will make you a great player. It's the world's first interactive digital trombone method book with clickable clickable video links to help support the content. It's organized in all the chapters that I feel like are the most important to take your trombone playing to the next level. So if you're ready to take your trombone playing to the next level, this book is available at paulthetrombonist.com slash books. We've got 40 countries represented and thousands of people have now participated into it. And also you get access to the private Facebook group if you are a member of this book, my friends. You're the greatest people. If you're new here, welcome you. If you've been returning, Thanks for returning. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Now, who's a part of the notification squad? I welcome you all to be a part of the notification squad. I love the notification squad. That's when you hit the little bell and the little notification thing, and you can be a part of the first people to get notified of when these videos get uploaded. I'd like to thank the patrons. And as always, my friends, Banana, Paul the Trombonist, signing off. Mm-hmm.